Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes one of length 8 which represent the 8 bits of a byte and then we have to accept string yes2 of length up to 101 and after that the program must convert each character in yes2 to its ascii value and these ascii value must be converted into binary representation of of length 8 and now each byte is now each bit in that binary the program must print the corresponding character that is in yes one as the output and if it is zero means then the character in lower case and then if it is one means we have to print that character in upper case So the program must convert the each character in S2 to its ASCII value and the ASCII value must be converted to binary representation of length 8. Now each bit in that binary program must print the corresponding character in S1. So if it is 0 means we have to print it in lower case and then if it is 1 means we have to print it in upper case. So yeah. Now we'll take our test case by following these conditions. Let's understand it better. So this is our S1 and S2. So we'll take S2 and here S2 is the first character of S2 is H and the ASCII value of H is 72 and then the binary representation of 72 uh, that is for H is 100100 so since we have only 7 numbers we have to get 8 so for that we will add zeros at the front and then for the first bit we have 0 so we will print u in lower case and then we have 1 so we will print n in upper case and then we have two zeros so we will print i and v in lower case and then we have 1 so we will print e in upper case and then we have triple zeros so we'll print all of the characters in lower case then then and then we'll move on to the next character that is e so for e it is 101 ascii value and then the binary representation is 1100101 so we'll pad zeros to make it 8 and then for the first zero we'll print 
u in lower case so u will be printed in lower case and then for 1 1 will print it in upper case that is n and i and then for again two zeros will print it in lower case v e and then for the next one will print r in upper case and for s will print it in lower case and then for e will print it in upper case so by following the same condition we have got the output for each character so let's print it as our output so first we have this and the, then we have for e and then we have for l and then we have for the fourth character and then the last character so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we will get our inputs string s1 and then we'll get string s2 and now we have to converge each character from s2 to its ascii value and it must be converted to the binary representation and we have to print the corresponding characters in s1 so for ch in s2 by iterating over each character in s2 we are going to convert it to its ascii value so that ASCII value must be converted to bin. So first for the ASCII value we have ORD function and then this must be converted to binary representation. So we have bin function. So whenever we use bin function, it gives a prefix of 0B. So in order to eliminate that, we have two colon after this, we are going to add zeros at the front of the binary representation as we have 8 bits also 8 characters in S1. So in order to pad zeros we use the zfill function. So our length is 8. So now we will again iterate over the index in range of 8 so here we have used 8 because 8 bits and also 8 characters in s1 and here we are going to check whether if the bit at that binary representation is equal to the characters of s1 that is if the bin string of index is equal to equal to 0 means we are going to print that character in lower case so s of s1 of index in lower so this will print that character in lower case and we'll use end argument and in the else part we'll print the s1 of index in uppercase that is whenever it is 1 it will be printed in uppercase so first we are converted to ASCII and ASCII is converted to binary representation and the binary representation has these conditions and finally we will print the end argument. So why we use this end argument because so if we have a characters like this then we must have a space and then have the next characters so we use this to get the space so now let us run our program with our first test case and yes we have got the correct output as you can see this is for h and this is for E, this is for L, and this is for L, and this is for O.
Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.